I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off? Norman. That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch him! Ah! Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Where the fuck is Blake? Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Ugh! <laughs> 
This time it looks like we got our origami killer. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Let me take your coat. Please, take a seat. Uh, 
I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. No sender. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Gordy Kramer, you stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. Uh, music's a little loud, isn't it? I'm looking for Gordy. Have you seen him? Party, huh? Hi. <laughs> I have 
job does have it first. Now I got me a new friend. Whiskey straight up, no ice.
Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? You don't think I'm gonna fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. I also know you were more than a suspect for the police. Now, if I were you, I'd think of something more credible. Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure you have some serious problems. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me.
It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? What, you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now! Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club.